James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a couple of large earthquakes. Today was one of the, well, five days this month that I said should be watch periods for larger earthquakes. The first two watch dates were the 9th and 10th of the month, and our next watch period will be the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. I want to include the 19th, but I want to keep it into a small watch period. Now, we had a larger quake earlier today. During my watch period, a 6-4 originally came in as a 6-8 with a tsunami warning. No buoys in event mode. Now what we're having is a swarm of sor uh, of sorts uh, all over the Juan de Fuco plate here off the coast of Oregon and Washington State and parts of California, Northern California. The biggest quake we've seen is a 5.8, but like I said, we are seeing a small swarm. The 5.8 had a tsunami warning with it, and it was at 13.8 kilometers according to the USGS. Now, we don't see a lot here uh, on the USGS. You see that 5.8, a 4.4, a 3.3, and a, a 2.7. And these are all at a default depth of 10 kilometers. These sea mounds, what they call them, are underwater volcanoes here. And the Juan de Fuco plate is this plate right here that's being pushed under the Cascades, i.e. known as the Cascadia Subduction Zone here. The Juan de Fuco plate being pushed under the North American plate by the Pacific plate. Now, all these underwater bumps are what we call sea mounds. They're basically underwater volcanoes. And there are some in this immediate area, as you can see right here. Let's continue. A 5.8 with a tsunami warning there. Now, this could continue and catch it early, perhaps. Again, the watch is through the 10th tomorrow. All right, over to volcanosandearthquakes.com. The swarm in on that area. We can see that Juan de Fuco plate here that's being pushed under, subsiding under the North American plate. And that pushes magma to the surface of all of these volcanoes, known as the Cascades. That is Mount Rainier. That's St. Helens. That's Adams. And that is Hood right there. What we see here in the swarm, you can see that is the Juan de Fuco plate, and that is the North American plate, and this is the Pacific plate. And here we're only seeing a couple additional, 4, 4, 3, 3, and a 2, 7. So most of it's being reported by the USGS. And you can see that not only do we have a lot of quake movement, well, we have volcanoes, uh, throughout the area. The closest three are right here and here, as far as I can tell. Now, let's get an idea of what we're dealing with here. It's a 5.8 with associated tsunami warning. And this was the USGS. The International Research Institute on Seismology came in at a 5.8 at 14 kilometers. And the Europeans came in at a 5.8 at 14 kilometers. They just probably followed suit from the USGS, also at 14 kilometers. So what do we have here? An hour and 30 minutes ago, we have a 5.8 magnitude earthquake with associated tsunami warning right there on the Juan de Fuco plate, right offshore Oregon and Washington State there, as we saw in Northern California. Taking a look at some earthquake details. We're looking at the USGS being the primary source, that 5.8 there, 13.8 kilometers here, we'll call it 14. And it was about a half of an atomic bomb worth of energy that was released. So not absolutely huge, but there was a, a associated tsunami warning. And here we can see that this quake hit just north of the California Oregon line. And it would be, again, on top of the Juan de Fuco plate. So comparing 
data from the different earthquake reporting agencies here. We have the USGS up first and the main source, 5, 8, 14 kilometers. Incorporated Research Institute for Seismology up next to 5, 8, 14 kilometers. The Europeans at 5, 8, 14 kilometers. Got the Germans come in at 5, 6. And they're going to be at a default depth. We can tell by the asterisk there. Uh, given as 10 kilometers, often means the depth of the quake cannot be determined with sufficient accuracy. Default depth there. Then we have the French coming in at a 5.07 default depth, 10 kilometers. We also have the Italians coming in at a 5.8. And they're at 8.6 kilometers, a little bit shallower. And finally, we have the Australians coming in at 5.71. Again, at the default depth, 10 kilometers there. Now, I did check all of the buoys at the National Data Buoy Center, both in the Vanatu area here where we had the 6-4 and here where we had the 5-8 on the one Fuku plate. I don't see any buoys in event mode whatsoever. I wanted to quickly go over the mechanism that's in play here. A lot of people in the Northwest are highly afraid of the situation. Here's the Wanda Fuku plate here. Here's the Pacific plate here, pushing the Wando Fuku plate under the North American plate here, forcing that magma to the top of the Cascades. These are volcanoes. And, well, obviously, if you keep pushing enough magma to the top of a volcano, eventually it's going to go off. I Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams. There's a bunch of them in the area. Those are just some of the most well known. This is the entire situation. Pacific plate pushing the Wanda Fuku plate under or subsiding under the North American plate pushing magma up here into the Cascades. Now we only had two watch periods all month for increased earthquake and volcanic activity. One was the 9th and 10th. That's today and tomorrow. You can see that the moon here lines up with Saturn and Neptune. And the fact that Pluto, Cirrus, Eris, Saturn, and Neptune are all pink means that there's a geomagnetic connection to Earth. The moon is the biggest player in all of this. So that is today. And then tomorrow it's even lined up better. So we might see additional earthquake activity tomorrow. And the other time we need to watch out for, you can see that we gain that geomagnetic connection to Uranus. And then we just have a perfect lineup here on the 20th. Not so much, but on the 21st and 22nd, we have a lineup with the moon in between Earth and the sun with Sirius, Saturn, Neptune, a geomagnetic connection still to Pluto and Eris, and that 90 degree connection to Uranus. It's really a go time here. Uh, that's a real watch period, 21st, uh, 20th through the 22nd, really, is what I need to say there. So, with that said, nothing cataclysmic yet. The 6 4 and Vanatu really downgraded from the 6 8 and the 5 8 off coast of Oregon there, both with associated tsunami warnings. And again, this is where the 6-4 popped off here. And this is the 5-8 here. And this is the first of our two-day watch period here. I will keep you all updated. And, well, I hope you all share our video. God bless each and every one of you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. In bizarro world and if tiffany's watching yellowstone's getting busy god bless